Philly Fingers here, going over the rules of Russian Pyramid, originally called Free Pyramid. When breaking, the goal is to pocket the red cue ball off the side of the rack into the top right corner pocket, which would give you one point. Now the reason why it's called Free Pyramid is that now, after the break, any ball can be used as a cue ball, so it's free game. You can now walk around the table, choose any ball you like, and then pocket a ball to score one point. Here you see me line up for a straight on shot into the corner pocket. And what I want to do is I want to hit this very firm. Because as you can see in the bottom right corner, I have an image of the pocket size. And the pockets on this table are extremely tight. So this requires me to hit really firm to compress the cushion so I can make the shot. Another way to score as you see here is the in off shot. Where I glance my cue ball off an object ball and pocket the cue ball hence scratching on purpose. This gives me my second point. So those are the two ways you can score, either pocket in a ball, as you see here for my third point, or the in-off shot, which again is a carom off an object ball, and in other words, you're scratching on purpose. Another important rule to note is that when you strike a ball, as you see I made my fourth point, another ball got moved and went into the left corner pocket. That also counts, that's my fifth point. So this brings to note that there is no calling in this game. It's slop, there's no call ball, call pocket. Anything that goes, as long as you make a legal hit, will count. And again, a legal hit would require you to hit a ball and then hit a cushion afterwards. As long as you do a legal hit, everything else that goes in will score a point. So how do you win? Well, it's the first to score eight points. That would be the winner. After missing my last shot, I will now play as the ghost. I will pocket the ball into the corner pocket and try to get position for another shot. Keep in mind I'm playing on a 12 foot table with extremely tight pockets. Also the equipment is different. The balls are very different in size and in weight. They're larger than your American pool balls. So where an American pool ball is 57 millimeters, these balls are 68 millimeters. And in terms of weight, they're also a lot heavier. The Russian cues are also longer and a lot heavier as well. They're a lot stronger as a normal pool cue could possibly split and break when you're hitting this hard. That said, there's still times, as you see here, where you want to hit a ball very slowly and control the pace. So you want to be able to identify the angles where you have to hit firm to compress the cushion and the ones where you have to hit very soft. Here you can see I hit soft, but it's still rattled out. And again, that's due to the pocket size, right? If you're off by just a few millimeters, you can miss the shot. The rail shot I'm attempting now has no physical way of going in, whether you hit hard or soft. I'm just playing position. I'm just trying to set myself up for a future shot. As again, because of the dimensions of the table, you always want to have either a straight on shot with a variance of about five to seven degrees. Any other angle that's more extreme is not going to be able to be made. It's for that reason, when you look around the table, you want to find shots that are relatively straight in shots. If they're not straight in, you want again, just a slight angle. Anything else can't be made, so you're then going to have to play defense or set yourself up for a future positional shot. As I walk around the table here, I'm not seeing too many straight in shots. So I'm going to settle for about a 15 to 17 degree angle on this ball here, knowing it won't go in, but I'm giving it a shot anyway. And as you see, it definitely rattled right in and out. That's the kind of shot you will practice during a game when you're playing by yourself, like I am here, but I would never take in a real game. This shot here with straight on, that's the kind of shot I would take, right? And as you see, I had to force it through. So I wasn't perfectly straight on, I was about five degrees, so I really had to compress the cushion. Same with the second shot here for my seventh point. I really had to compress that cushion. So keep in mind the cue ball starts to travel, but it's not that big of a deal because if the cue ball also went in, I would also get a point for that and the game would have been over. That could have been my eighth point. So it ties back to the name of the game, free pyramid, right? Where you have a free shot, you're not calling balls, you're not having to worry about which cue ball you're going to use because every ball is a free ball to play. The main thing is always try to focus on getting good position and straight in shots. This shot here is a very long shot, right? Again, I'm on a 12 foot table, but it's relatively straight in 
and I'm able to power it through. These are the kind of shots we want to look for. Now in terms of fouls or scratches, if you fail to make a legal hit, if you make contact with the ball but it doesn't hit a rail afterwards, you lose a point and a ball will have to be spotted. There are also no jump shots allowed and any ball that flies off the table is also a foul and you would lose a point. For those of you who want to really get into this game, I would recommend really practicing the break shot. Pocketing the cue ball off of the rack is important, not just for that one nothing lead, but the way it spreads the balls and sets a tone. I failed to make that break shot and had to then recreate shots afterwards. You also leave your opponent the ability to then catch up as well if you don't make a good break. So it's just like every game, right? The break is crucial. Other than that, you really have to focus in on straight in shots. A lot of us can't make straight in shots in pool. Coming here, making a straight in shot, a stop shot, a stun shot, those are critical. There are no banks in this game. There are no kicks in this game. It's all about your shooting skills. Here I hit a ball too soft and I forgot to compress the cushion and I missed. So as I reassess, I remind myself that on this table, I hit firm and then I made the ball. I feel this game really helps with pocket speed, how hard to hit, how soft to hit, shooting straight, all these things. So give it a try. There is also another version of this game which is similar to straight pool. So unlike here in this game where I need to just get 8 points, which is again similar to 8 ball, right? First to make 8 ball wins. There's a version that's similar to straight pool. The difference there would be, obviously you would continue hitting balls off the rack, right? 9, 10 and so forth. But once you have two balls remaining on the table, that's when you stop and you re-rack. So in American straight pool, when you have one ball left, that's when you re-rack. But here, you have to have two balls left. Then you re-rack, you continue the rotation again, and you play to a certain number of points just like in straight pool. It could be 50, 100, whatever you declare. As I score my eighth point, that ends the game, and that's been my take on Pyramid Pool. Till next time.